In this problem, we are asked to solve the compound inequality of a negative 2 is less than or equal to 2x plus 4, all divided by 2, is less than or equal to 8. We can see in this compound inequality that one way that we can solve it is to recognize that we have two separate inequalities. We have the first inequality that reads 2x plus 4 divided by 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. And the second inequality is 2x plus 4 divided by 2 is less than or equal to 8. Therefore, we can solve this compound inequality simultaneously. That is, whatever we do to one inequality, we will also do to the other inequality. Therefore, when I look at 2x plus 4 divided by 2, one thing that I might want to do is multiply by 2. I would have to multiply both sides of the inequality also by 2. Therefore, I would have 2 times a negative 2, which is a negative 4, is less than or equal to 2x plus 4 divided by 2 times 2, and we will see that 2 divided by 2 cancels to make 1. So I'm left with 2x plus 4. And that's going to be less than or equal to 8 times 2, which is 16. Now in order to isolate x inside my inequalities, I will subtract 4. And again, I would have to do it for both inequalities. Negative 4 minus 4 more is a negative 8. That is less than or equal to 2x, which is going to be less than or equal to 16 minus 4, which is 12. Finally, I can divide by 2, and again I would divide by 2 on both sides of the inequality, giving me negative 4 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 6. Writing this in interval notation, I can see that x is between negative 4 and 6, including those endpoints of negative 4 and 6. Therefore, I'd want to use brackets and write it as negative 4 to 6. This tells me that any value between negative 4 and a positive 6 will satisfy my compound inequality. We could check this. For example, if I let x equal to 0, since 0 is between negative 4 and 6, I want to substitute it back into my original compound inequality. I want to verify that when I do that, I would get a value between negative 2 and a positive 8. I would see that 2 times 0 plus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 4 more is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And I would see that indeed 2 is less than or equal to 8, but at the same time 2 is greater than or equal to a negative 2.